Hello and welcome. You are listening to The Hello You Show. I'm your host, Jessica Rice, and the founder of Jessica Rice Coaching. This show is for ambitious and visionary-minded women leaders and entrepreneurs ready to uplevel their impact and establish their personal brand and unique voice. It's time, ladies, to make our voices heard. Say hello again to the real you. Hi, my name is Jessica Rice. I am the founder of Jessica Rice Coaching and the host of the Hello You Show. Today, I want to talk to you about having the courage to lead authentically. This is something that comes out quite often for me with coaching clients when we're talking about how you build your own authentic brand of leadership. Oftentimes, we come up in our careers with an expectation that we know exactly what we're going to be doing in order to follow the flow or the road to success. It's paved out for us. We have a roadmap that we follow and we have a plan. However, once we start getting into our own leadership is when we start to experience a different kind of issue because it's not as clearly laid out as it may have previously been. Now we start to incorporate more of ourselves, more of our expertise, our experience, and our unique way of viewing situations, challenges, and truthfully solving them. None of us handle any situation exactly the same, which is why having unique sets of leaders can be so crucial for any corporation. When we're considering what our own unique brand of leadership is, it's really important that we start to think about how we courageously step into the person that we were intended to become. This involves incorporating our experiences. It involves incorporating our knowledge, our know-how, our skills, our assets that we have created and brought to the table. But it also means that rather than bending ourselves to become what we think others want us to be so that we are well liked, it means that we start shifting our perspective so that no matter what corporation that we may enter, no matter if we start our own business or where we end up, we know exactly who we are, what we bring to the table and how we can best benefit and serve the people that we are working for and helping as leaders. That's the difference between being a transformational leader and someone who merely is a transactional leader. And I think you can think in the back of your mind of different types of people that you may have worked with or the types of leaders who have helped you along the way. The transformational ones are the ones who are able to look deeper into the problems and challenges that you might be facing within an organization, what your people might be facing, and learning the best ways to be flexible to help them solve some of their own problems. It's pretty common to think about leadership and the 12 or 16 styles of leadership. But I think what's becoming more of the conversation is what is our own leadership style? Not just so much how do we adapt or expand upon so that you can become a coach type leader or just a transformational type leader or moving away from being authoritative. But it's really you know, encompassing and embodying all of the facets that you bring to the table. That's a big, big, big shift from trying to step into a role and being unsure or unclear of what's required of you. As we become, as we grow up in our leadership, we start to think differently about what it is that we now have to do. Who are we serving? What are we trying to do in the next five, 10 years within this role? Are we growing outside of this role? Are we outgrowing this role? And that's a big piece that comes to the, you know, comes to the table as leaders, even as you're considering whether you've outgrown a company. 
you have to think forward in a totally different way than when you first started because the path is less clear and it's not paved the same. It's easy when we're coming out of college, there's, there's more or less a, a similar path that everyone is following. But moving up in leadership, moving up in your life, your expectations of your time, how you use it, what you value, all of this starts to shift for you as you get older, as life starts to happen to you in different ways, family, different circumstances start to fall into place for you. And you're no longer thinking about things from a very narrow perspective. You're thinking at it very broadly. And you're starting to value the amount of energy and time that you exert into any given situation so that you are monitoring closely how much you are expending of yourself. So in, you know, in relation to the, you know, the impact that you are making. So what is the ratio of energy that you are putting out in relation to the impact that you are making? And I'm noticing that more and more leaders are starting to really ask themselves the question, how much do I really want to take on? Not because they don't want to work, but because it's about energy. It's about how much do we really want to expend of ourselves? It needs to be meaningful. It needs to feel like we're doing something and that we're making a difference. If you have been thinking about this for yourself as a leader, how you move up in your own leadership, this is really pivotal. This is the part where you stop becoming that transactional leader and you're really starting to think about your own brand, what you bring to the table and what types of companies, what types of roles, or even, you know, what type of business you would like to start in relation to how you are received so that no matter where you go, you are you. You bring to the table the best portions of yourself. You bring your wisdom, your expertise. It's not as much about how you fit in as about, is it the right fit? Is this the right company? Is this the right culture? And if they are looking to shift their culture, if they're looking to shift how they operate, then maybe what you can bring to even usher that along. Thinking about your brand of leadership is a completely different paradigm shift in thinking than any other leadership training has been done previously. It's not how you fit the mold of what a quote unquote leader looks like. It's how you step into the person that you were meant to become. I hope you can join me next time. We have a lot more to share on leadership how you embody a transformational leadership style and how you truly create and make it your own. Until then, next time, keep being strong and keep being you.